believe it's time for story time. Did we ask him? 
Have we asked him? Have we been seeking? Have we been finding? Have we been knocking? Has it been opened? Have we been asking? And have we received? Well, we can. We can knock and Jesus will answer. And the reason I started crying is because I like to pray for my family. And we have people that need Jesus very much. How many people, everybody, have people that need Jesus very much? And how many needs Jesus very much for yourself? Raise the other hand, amen? So today, Marty's over there, and he's going to pass out some cards right now. And Lynn's on this side, and she's going to pass out some cards right now. And um, does anybody know what's happening besides the photos on April 3? We've got photos on April 3. Then April 13, remember that Pastor uh, Royce Snaman, he came, on, he came and talked to us about emergency stuff. And then on April 18, which is a Thursday, Pastor Royce is going to come back with his wife, Lori, and told that story about the, about the stone soup. They're coming back. And they're going, we're going to be sending out all kinds of mail that is going to go through the neighborhood to people's houses and talk to them about Jesus on prophecy. And when they come, when they get that piece of mail, we got to pray that that piece of mail doesn't get thrown in the trash. That like even if it gets thrown in the trash or on the street, I've heard about people that were going down the street and they saw this piece of prophecy mail and they picked it up and they said, um, they said, wow, my three girls need one up here too. And they said, wow, this is interesting. And they found it in the street and they go to the church and they hear about Jesus and their whole life is better and changed. So these pieces of paper and these people are real people and these are real, real invitations from heaven. And so I think that if we look at this card, the one on the side that has the lines on it, can you turn it over and look at the side that has the lines on it? It says you're supposed to write down the names of five people that you really care about and that you will be able to see and invite to come to our program on April, on April 18, which is a Thursday night and a Friday night. And then on Sabbath morning, we'll have that. And on Sabbath night, Saturday night, we'll have meetings too. Not very long. Not like we got to be here for six weeks like you used to have evangelism. But hopefully, you'll be able to come as kids, young people, and hopefully these people behind you will make this a priority. And more important than that, we will keep on knocking, keep on asking, keep on praying. Amen? Because Jesus has promised that he would answer us. Shall we bow our heads for a prayer right now? Heavenly Father, even as we have waited for a long time for some of our prayers to be answered, you have not forgotten our requests, and you have promised that if we ask, you would fill us with your Holy Spirit. And so we are asking, we are asking even today, dear Lord, help us to empty our hearts so you can fill us. For we ask it in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. Let me go back to your seats. To number 290 and I invite you to stand instead of special music we're going to sing Turn Your Eyes Upon Jesus. <laughs> 